This is one of a 2020 Mitsubishi Pajero Sport XC. This is actually a Series 2 version, this is actually a facelift model. So I've done some slight changes compared to the previous version, which I'll be going through in just a moment. So also I just want to just let you know, I'm um, sorry for background noise, really big because the radio is playing in the background, and also that there are a couple sales going on as well, so I do apologise. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Towards the front you've got full, L full LED headlights. Let's show you just now. There you go. As you can see, looks quite nice. You can see the headlights actually look very similar to the Triton, so they've kind of taken a couple of styling keys from it. See so LED turn rain light all the way here. See so grill here. It's very nice. Also, you see quite commonly you see the chrome kind of on the inside of as it sort of curves in. Very similar that you see on all the Mitsubishi models. The so key locking because of the fact that I must have pressed it. As you can see, over here and on the other side as well. You can see you've got four parking sensors integrated to the front bumper there as well. So you've got a camera at the front as well. Fuel consumption of this car is 8 litres per 100 kilometres. Urban 9.8, extra urban 7.0. The model you're looking at is a Pedro Sport Exceed. Diesel. Show your wheels. So these are your wheels. So they've also been redesigned. See, it looks a little bit nicer. A little bit more cleaner. Got some nice black here. So tyres are Toyo A32 tyres, A32 open country tyres, they are a 18 inch wheel and they are, in case you're wondering, they actually are made in Malaysia tyres. See so side steps here. So you've got indicators integrated into the side of your mirrors. So that's actually not a styling cue. Every, every car pretty much has it as a standard safety, safety feature. So you may have recalled back in the day you used to have the indicators in, integrated to the side there, but the reason why they put them in the mirrors is it's actually a lot easier to see. For example, from a distance, if I pressed it again, just for argument's sake, it's a lot more easier to see which direction you're going. Because, because the main reason is the indicators and the mirrors are actually in the field of view so when you're driving they're a lot more easy to see especially if you're doing lane changes so that's actually the main reason for it so interesting stuff little subtle stuff that people don't really know but yeah it's really cool also if i go towards the lower part you can see that there's actually a camera so it's actually cool so you can actually get you can actually get a view on your side so it's actually great when you're parking and stuff like that so in case you're too close to people like that are they it's got time on, so yeah. True. So it looks pretty much the same, but um, revised, so a little more improved with the materials and all that. The hint towards the back, um, one thing that a lot of people complained about the previous one was that the tail lights were a little not very really nice. So you can see in this little older picture, you can see the tail light kind of like kind of bleeds all the way down that was kind of the design of the Pajero Sport and yeah so on this one they kind of fixed that so you can see the it's a little bit lot shorter kind of chopped off about that much and also it may maybe hard to see but it's actually a lot darker the the color of the of the tail light very similar to the to the not Pajero I'm saying the Triton so if I just unlock it, you can see the you can see the LED daytime run lights so it looks a bit more more nicer and it actually looks a bit more like polished up compared to this one here. You can see the LED daytime red lights on there. But yeah, but I reckon these look a little bit a lot nicer. But towards the bottom lower portion, you've got four parking sensors in the rear bumper. Full size spare tire, single exhaust. You can also see the suspension on those. 
I've actually driven one of these and compared to the old one, one thing I did notice was the previous one, the it was quite bouncy, so when you go on like a speed bump and stuff like that, it kind of bounces too much. It's a little bit uncomfortable. But this one they've kind of firmed up the suspension, so it's a little bit more stable. And when you go on those bumps, it actually feels a lot nicer too, which is actually really good. So it's not too soft and not too hard, so that's one thing I appreciate Mitsubishi doing. So rear backup camera. It's a power tailgate, in case you're wondering. So that's something I felt this car needs, so I'm quite short. And if you're not very tall, it makes it a little bit harder to open the vehicle. Um, seven seats. So if I, first thing first, I'll just pull this here. And next, so I pull the other one here too. So if I pull this one first, you can see the seat flicks forward. Then I'll pull this one, and then the seats fold down nice and flat. So I do the same thing again. I think you put the, whoop, so you pull. So before you see it flicks forward just like that, then you pull and hold. If you let go, then it doesn't, I think, oh, okay. So you pull and hold, and then you've got yourself a much bigger boot. So you've got seven seats, great for small children. So you can see, nice and flat. Also very nice. See here, got some hooks. Very useful. Got a extra hook here for to mount your baby booster very handy and if you want to do the reverse way you just you just have to pull a little bit hard that's only because of the fact that it's a little bit snug in between there and there and that comes in nicely there and you can see also just for argument's sake this is the difference how it flicks up the mechanism might be a good idea to show and um So it's just really snug, sorry. So yeah, and you've got the seats up again. Now just for argument's sake, if you just want to see the space for the rear two seats. Now, it's not much, but um, if you're under five foot, five foot four, I would say, it'd be good, but I'm five foot five, so I'm just about right. So if I fold this down, you'll notice this part of the seat will roll forward like that. And to put it back, you just lock it in place. And you do the same thing on the other side, which I'll just leave like that purposely to show you. See? I think it's good also is like you could just open this and you could put, let's say, like a plant or something tall, which is good. So now it's over, I can sit in the back here. And you can see that, yeah, a little bit snug. I'll just put, you can, actually this angle, I can just show you the mechanism a bit better. Put this here, let's lock in place. So that's how much room you have, and I'm five foot five for a measurement. In case you're wondering, so I'm yeah, I could just fit. I can't. I don't actually have a place to put my feet, but this is good for small children. So if you're five foot four and under, more than five, obviously kids are, are very small, so you'll be they'll be quite comfortable. And yeah, so for me, not much headroom, but yeah, again, this is just an argument. Let's say you had like a friend you want to sit in the back here. I guess they can do it for short distances, which is cool. You do have some cup holders here, which is good. So it's good to put some drinks there. And yeah, pretty cool stuff. Also, the duck a little bit, so yeah, obviously, small kids. So I'll just put this back here. And let's smack it in. <coughs> I did that. Pull this, and it will come to a point where and it will just roll all together. And then you just slam it in and you have to hold this because if you don't it'll just lock at that point so you have to always keep it whole and there you are that's how you fold this rear seats press this one here very smooth operation too it's not like noisy locks nice and sharp so let's show, let me show you the interior of the Pajero Sport. It's got powered seats. It's also cool. It's 
Let's see his interior. So the interior pretty much looks exactly the same. Only difference is Desus revised it just to make it a little bit more nicer. For example, the door cards on the previous one was quite quite flimsy. But this one you can see they've got nicer materials. So you can see you've got some nice oh the colour's throwing off the camera again. So you've got some nice grey stitching here. Also very nice and it's nice, it's all nicely padded. And yeah, it just feels a lot more nicer. Even these handles feel a lot more sturdier. See all the switches feel very more solid as well. Also very nice. Got a leather wrap string wall and I feel it's a bit thicker, so I don't know if they've put more thicker leather. And you've got some again, more black stitching. All the buns feel very nice. These toggles were very, very satisfy, satisfying to click. So you can actually change the camera so you can actually see your front and rear sides. So that's actually pretty handy. Great for when you're doing like going parking and things like that. So it's really good to get different fields of view. You can adjust the distance of for the for the the adapter cruise control, which is good, so you want to be a bit more closer, but still keeps a safe gap or more further away, which is cool. Got some power shifters, plus, minus, and you got your wiper controls here, and your headlight indicator controls to the right. Now, if I just turn this on just for just a moment, you'll see you have you are greeted with a multi function display. So, there's a lot of benefits having one of these. Main reason is um, you can just do a lot more with it. For example, you could have your map data, you can, you can actually see all the little information for the car and it just, you just do so much more with it, so I guess that's the main reason why cars are going, shifting towards multifunction, full displays, digital displays. Towards the left you got a temperature gauge and the right you got a fuel gauge. One thing that's cool is when I put the foot in the brake, you'll see a little animation of the car braking, which is kind of cool, kind of like that. Very cool, isn't it? So obviously a blind spot monitoring system you can see it in the corner there. Good stuff. It's all hard plastics here, still that hasn't really changed. But I think it's been laid over with a thin piece of soft charge material. No, it's just, this is hard plastic but it seems to be a little bit more softer in some areas. So I think it's a bit more of an improvement. So you got greeted with a much bigger display. Press navigation, it's made by TomTom, Tom, so nice and large. Put my destinations. You can see a lot more responsive. Look. Multimedia, turn the radio. I just did that quickly because I don't want to, you know, flag for copyright for the radio. So, speakers are pretty good. Sounds quite nice. Um, Android Auto Apple CarPlay is available here, so you can, which is really good. So, you can be up to date with everything. Got new um, climb control control, the uh, HVAC controls. So, you can see it a little bit, um, a little bit more different. modes, fan speeds, all that, very cool. <laughs> very nice sort of sound. Turn it off. Got heat, you got heated seats, high low, HDMI port, um, two USB ports, not too sure what that is but feel free to let me know in the description below. Got 120 watt power outlet, you can see you've got a vinyl shift boot with some black stitching. Different drive modes, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive for lock. Pretty cool stuff. Hill descent control, electronic parking brake. Got two cup holders here. And there's a weird bottle, it kind of looks like in the shape of a pear, so it's not very useful. Really. You can see you can fit that nicely there. So. But yeah, at least you can pretty much fit that. We've got a vinyl armrest with some grey stitching. It's also padded here. The seats are also a lot nicer, like the leather's a lot nicer. I feel the previous one that wasn't very nice. But um yeah, very nice. Got a pretty big sunglass holder, so I guess that's good for when you want to have extra sets of sunglasses. Got a card holder with a vanity mirror. You also have another additional one here.
Got some storage here as well. You can see some additional storage here. You can put maybe a smartphone there. Also, you've got some padding on the sides here, which is actually a really nice little detail. They've done that there. And some more some rubber material there. Let's show you the rear. So here is the receipts. Okay, let's close this door. So you can see that you can probably just fit that cup, that bottle. You can see it's kind of a bit of um, a weird shape, but you can see it fits that, so I guess you wouldn't have that problem. So it actually keeps it steady too, I don't know if you saw that. But so it's actually, it doesn't actually move around or anything that much. So. That's good, but it's not really the best example. No, it's hard to see. There you go. So, cup holders. Same seats as the front. You got the grey sort of stitching. It's also nice. Got some lighting here, and you know, turn on the fan, stuff like that. One thing I do like is you got a full plug point here, Australian plug. And you've got, I think, two fast charging ports there as well, which is quite handy for your smartphone. A little Velcro there. Pockets there. Another one here. Now I'll just show you the dashboard from the rear seats. Good stuff. I'll already demonstrate how the seats fold down. So, if I pull this drink out, I'll just show you again. You fit two bottles there, which is good. And your ice fix points for got children. Good headroom and all that. It's nice. Show you the engine. Okay. Camera's running out again. So it's always the worst part is doing this. Okay, so here is the engine. So the engine's exactly the same, nothing really has changed. Got your diesel fuel filter in the corner. So this refined it. So they refined the gearbox, refined the um, they refined just the engine and those small things. So just to make it a bit nicer. Driving wise, this does feel a lot better. The suspension feels a lot more not bouncy compared to the previous one. So that's one thing that's good, especially over speed bumps. Yeah. In case you're wondering, these are made in Thailand, in case you're wondering. This is the normal picture I spent from Japan. Well, that's my little walk around of the all new 2020 Mitsubishi Pajero Sport. XC. I'm oh, sorry for, for the background noise and the and the radio playing in the background, but anyway. This car is for sale at Eastside Mitsubishi. I'll leave the details in the description below. And if you're interested to purchase this car, feel free to contact them. Thanks for watching. Bye.